Hello my little star beams, it's Professor Potsdam here welcoming you back to episode 3 of Magical Diary. No, it's not, it's me, Paige Macy's, welcome back to Magical Diary. And let's see this thing that uh, she's forgotten about. So, it's not until after I wake up on Friday morning that I realise something. Something very important which now should have occurred to me before now. Virginia! Virginia! Psst. Virginia, wake up! Where? It's Friday the 13th! Oh shit, it was this month. There was a Friday the 13th this month. Is this set? No, no, this isn't set in September. Oh my god, so it is. Yeah. So? Uh, are there any special rituals we need to do or not do to protect us from magical bad luck? Yeah, Friday the 13th really isn't all that unlucky. Well, it is to us, but if I re and it was if you're a Templar Knight, if I remember my history correctly. Ooh, no Friday the Thirteenth is good luck when you're a witch. Huh? Oh, so it's a good omen that our initiation finishes today. Yes, you stop sending love letters about butter. Now let me finish sleeping. She pulls the covers over her head. Where are you all sleeping? Activity, study. Studying! Success, gain two smarts, one stress. Yay! After the day's activities, we're all called together into the gym again. Just freshmen at first, standing together in a confused herd and whispering about the crazy tasks we've done this week. I wrote stuff about butter. Then we hear the sounds of heavy bootsteps marching in uni union. Shouldn't that be unison? That doesn't sound right to me. Marching in unison, surely, not union. Ah, whatever. <laughs> See, you say, bow down, look up, you're too tall, don't turn your back on me, lower, lower. After a few minutes, we're all lying flat on our backs on the floor. <laughs> Christ, what an image. And that's when William takes the stage. Oh, there's a piano on the stage as well. And is that a fire extinguisher sort of thing there? Either that or it's a door for tiny people. Welcome, freshmen. It's time for the final phase of your initiation. I can't remember what the hell voice I used for him. Oh well. Karina will be passing out the blind for Oh my god. Please put them on. A long haired girl from Snake Hall tiptoes around the room, delicately placing a strip of dark fabric in the hands of each freshman. Blindfolded? What are they planning to do with us? Mass pin the tail on the donkey. Of course. That makes perfect sense, yes? Please be mass tail, um, pin the tail on the donkey, because that would be amazing. Or it would be probably quite painful, especially if they're all standing in a clump. They're going to end up sticking themselves in the arse with the, with the nail. Well, everyone else is doing it. <laughs> oh. I'm blind! <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Or ellipsis, ellipsis, ellipsis. Whatever. Okay, now I can't see and have no idea what's going on. I hear people moving around, whispering. One or two giggles. Obviously people are missing the donkey quite badly. I wait. Suddenly. And then... I strike! Eventually I feel a hand touching my shoulder. Hopefully it's attached to a person, and not just a hand by itself. Sit up. Carefully. Now, on your feet. I stand up, with unseen hands under my elbow, steadying me. Then one of those hands pushes me. What was that thing in the Stonecutters episode of The Simpsons? It's like the, the trial of the something or other, where he would, they were just slapping Homer, Homer on the arse with paddles. Then made up like a bunch of other names for it. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> People remind me what all those things were called. Is that going to happen? Hey! Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. I feel myself spun around, passed from hand to hand. Oh god. Hopefully you didn't eat anything before doing this. Stop. They hold me swaying in place. It's mass pin the tail on the donkey. I knew it. For your own safety, do exactly what I tell you. Walk forward, slowly. That voice sounds familiar. Well, whatever. I'll play along. If it turns out to be the bloke I'll be giving a French accent to, I'll kick myself. I can do it. 
I follow the instructions of the voices and try to guess where I'm going. Through build through the buildings, out a door, across the grounds. Oh. Step up. Up. Careful now, don't hit your head. What the hell? Where are we going? I feel a hand on top of my head, gui guiding me into a, a Vaughan? Oh my god. Sit down, I'll strap you in. I can hear other people being guided into the remaining seats. So, okay, we're going for a drive to the mall, to a cave, to a hotel, to a secret underground temple. Dot dot dot. At last we arrive and are carefully ushered out of the car. I know that in American high schools that hazing is a kind of a thing, but surely they wouldn't resort to kidnap? <laughs> really, that's what this is. Surprise! Oh god, where are we? Oh, it's him. I should have been doing a French accent. Why did I guess? Why did I not guess? What? Initiation is over. Now it is time for the party. Why the hell did you kidnap us to take us to a party? Groups of students lounge around by the lakeside, seniors and freshmen mingling freely. Long tables grown under watermelons, punch bowls and chafing dishes. What, the dishes cause chafing? There is soda and barbecue and games, and presents from the seniors to the freshmen. For you, I have given you a big pat of butter and some bread, you crazy woman. You bought me a present? Actually, we were supposed to make them, but I've never been good at that sort of thing. Oh, he's blushing. So, here. He hands me a small box. <gasps> but it's so sudden. Inside I find but <gasps> <laughs> <I knew it. laughs> Frickin' butter <laughs> And you don't have to share it. <laughs> And you don't have to share it with anyone <laughs> I freaking called it I giggle. He smiles at me and seems so perfectly happy that I can't any imagine anyone would ever think him an evil demon. But the butter is cursed. It's cursed! Come on, let's go join the party. It is just getting started. Is it Saturday? No, no it's Friday. Damn. Alright. Everyone's here. This would be a good chance to get my roommates to meet Damien. See, he's not a bad guy. But if that backfired and they said something mean to him, it could spoil the party. What should I do? Just have fun. I think introduce Damien to Ellen. Because she can then back you up with Virgi uh, against Virginia. Perhaps. Yeah, introduce Damien to Ellen, I think. Oh, you should meet my roommates. Are you sure? They're nice. You'll like them. Actually, you already met Ellen, but it wasn't the best moment this time. This should be much better. Ah, yes, we can smooth things over with Ellen. Yes, that would be a good idea. Ellen blends into crowds, but William is tall and distinctive, and since he's his senior, they'll probably be together. Ellen is well seed like me, but she's really smart and better at schoolwork like, than I am. Look, there she is. I wonder what her smart is. It's probably somewhere somewhere in the middle there. Hi, guys. Hi, Paige. Look what William gave me. She holds up her hand to show off a string bracelet with little clay beads spelling out E L L E N. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, what a nice guy William is. Oh, that's cute. That's what I think. What did you get? Butter. <laughs> why would you give her something like that? Ellen knows why. Oh, right. Anyway, I thought this would be a good time for you and Damien to get to know each other better. Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. Oh well. Yes, Ellen, this is Damien, who nearly got you into a lot of trouble. Right. That's not fair, it wasn't his fault, and he tried to fix it. Yeah, funny how someone just happened to get past his room's protections that day. Leave the door unlocked. Do you regularly check the locks on my door, William? I thought you'd gotten over that little... Oh my goodness. Anyway, everything turned out alright in the end. 
So please, don't fight! Indeed, Ellen, there shouldn't be fighting. It's a party. It's a little party. But brawling is what wolves are best at. Indeed. And we're beating them in the league table at the moment, although just on goal, goal difference, but still. Better than nothing. Ella's right, you guys have nothing to fight about. Everyone's everyone's fine. Let's just enjoy the party, okay? Come on, we should get refreshments. I bet Virginia's already stacking her plate. And she's going to spin it. And none of the food will fall off. Probably. And so we spend the afternoon having a good time together. Oh, stress has gone down again. I wonder how I'm going to get the merits back up. Oh, we're back. Saturday. Ah, I've got $15. On Saturday morning, I wake up to find envelopes under the door again. Our allowances and one extra. My parents finally wrote to me. Hooray. I open up the envelope, intending to skim through it quickly. But it turns out there's not much to skim through. They send their love. I hope I'm having fun at boarding school. That's it. That's kind of crappy. I think they'd have put a little bit more effort into it, but I guess seeing as it's only your first, well, second week, they shouldn't be too, uh, what do you call it, about it? Beaten up? No mention of what they've been doing. No questions about any of the friends I've made. Not even any questions about magic. How could they not ask about magic? I don't know. Do you have a religion? Maybe they don't want to talk about magic because they're religious? Before I got here, I had no idea what was possible. There was only brief moments of magic back when I was 13. Before the officials came to turn off the power and give me the choice. For three years I've had to wait and wonder. Oh, there's only that brief moment of magic. And now I'm finally starting to discover this entire world of possibilities and they don't even ask. Parents are like that. Maybe they don't want to bother me in case I'm busy or they'll figure out I'll tell them what I want to tell them. I still haven't written. I'm so bad. <laughs> I will write them a letter. Tomorrow, really. But for today I have to decide whether to go or, uh, to, uh, whether or not to go out. We've only got $15. We can't really buy much, but I suppose we could have something nice. Go to the mall or study. Let's see, we've got 22 smarts. We're doing quite well on stuff. Let's go to the mall. We could have a look in the bookshop this time. What should I do at the mall today? Magic store, games, arcade, food, court, window shopping. Hmm. Let's go games arcade. There are only a few old style video games with joysticks and buttons here. Most of the arcade is filled with racing games, dance pads, claw grabbers, things that give out tickets for prizes and a surprisingly large collection of pinball machines. Pinball wizard. Play dance games, play pinball, use claw machine, just watch. Let's go on the claw machine. We might be able to win something. I set my sights on a cute stuffed rabbit and insert my money and manoeuvre the claw until it's above the prize. The claw descends and takes hold of the rabbit but lets it fall again before it reaches the exit chute. It's so frustrating! Stress increased by one. Better luck next time? Ah, oh, damn. That's quick. After breakfast, oh, we're Sunday now, I sit down to figure out what to write to my parents. I could tell them about the strange professors here, but I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. There are lots of silly stories about the things that happened during initiation, but I'm not sure if you can really appreciate them if you weren't there. They might think it sounds like bullying. Yes, just a little bit. <laughs> I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food here, things like that, so they don't worry about me. They want to know that I get enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. And my roommates, I should write about them. We've been so busy, we don't know each other all that well yet, but they're both good people. Even if I am a little bit annoyed at Virginia. Poor Eileen's had a hard time of, the, of it this week with initiation, but I'm sure she's glad that it's all over. As for magic? Uh, well, I've learned a few things, but I haven't really done proper magic yet. Just classroom exercises, so I'll wait a while before I tell them much about that. Mel doesn't go out on Sundays. So I fold my letter up and stick it in an envelope, but I don't seal it yet. I can get a stamp from the on-camp- on on-compass? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. Post office tomorrow. 
I think I'll go for a walk. Good plan. I wander around the campus, wondering how long the leaves will stay green. It is a magical place, so it might be like this all year. I'll miss the fall colours, though. Autumn is lovely for colours. I think it's one of my favourite seasons. I wonder what witches and wizards do for Halloween. Dress up like normal people. <laughs> As I'm thinking, my own pers personal Halloween decoration... <sniffs> Ouch. Burn! Makes an appearance. Hi, Damien. He looks at me oddly. What are you up to? Want to do something together? What? To be friendly? Because we're bored? Not that bored. Oh, it's going to be his evil twin or something. Without further word, he brushes past me and away. Ouch. Maybe you shouldn't have thought of them as your personal Halloween decoration. Maybe he can read your mind. He could have found that incredibly hurtful. You need to think about these things, Paige. You need to think about these things. What just happened here? Virginia comes up behind me. Oh, she's been probably saying stuff. I told you so. Told me what? That he's evil. You probably pissed him off. I was just talking to my brother about him to get the scoop. He's a total womanizer. William says last year he left every sophomore in Butterfly Hall crying in the bathroom at some point. He gets girls' hopes up, then when they fall in love with him, he dumps them. That's not evil, that's just being a player. I'm not dating him. The point is, he's a jerk. Forget you ever knew him, you'll be, ba you'll be better off. There must be some misunderstanding. I know Virginia doesn't like Damien, but he, he was nice to me. Maybe he's just having a really bad day. If he doesn't want to talk to me right now, there is no point in chasing after him. Good, yes. Come on, let's go to the gym and play. Okay. Whoa, stars. Okay, let's check the inventory. Is the butter in the inventory? Nope. I've probably eaten it. Diary. Let's not accidentally press buttons. The new students have to bow all bow and scrape to the seniors for a week. We are assigned to one senior in particular. Mine is Damien. So snubbed. Ah, it looks like there might be more space for stuff to happen each day. Okay, right, done. Next week. Right. Next week, morning, grounds. On Monday morning, I set off across the campus on my way to breakfast. Hey, wait up. View, I caught you. I need to think of a good voice for her. What's up? Sign ups for clubs this week. I wanted to make sure you were on board for the sports team. Liz next door said no, but Anisha's in. Who is Anisha? Uh, what sport are we doing exactly? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. We can vote on that later. First, I have to get enough people to agree and find out what sort of team we can manage. Promise you'll join? Sure, I guess. Great, we'll have official sign-ups on Wednesday afternoon, so go to the gym then. As long as we're both doing it, Ellen will have to stop studying all the time and join in. She waves and jogs away. Well, so what am I going to do this week? Okay, right, what I want to do is red magic with gravity, grabbing air. Uh, Tuesday I want to do black magic. Wednesday is going to be gym. Thursday we'll be studying. Uh, and... What do I want to do? I could sleep, but my stress won't be that bad enough to sleep. Maybe I could sneak in some more red magic or some gym. Let's actually let's go with green. Done. So we've got one Potsdam, we've got one grabby class, we've got two Potsdam classes, we've got gym and we've got studying. Okay, done. Activity, red magic. Success, gain one magic skill, gain one stress. Whoa. Activity, black magic. Success, gain three black magic, three stress. Inspection, cost one mana. Oh, I learned a new spell. Inspection costs one mana. Detects weak points and hidden details within one target target object. Oh, that's interesting. Where is my mana? Activity gym. Taking gym success gained one strong and gain one stress. After class gymnasium. 
I arrive at the gym to see a haphazard collection of booths and tables and clouds of underclassmen swirling around them. Like literal clouds made of tiny, tiny underclassmen. Raven Darkstar with a snake from Snake Hall is with a group of people that seems to be the drama club. Club. Someone else has to save the dragon's banner. Save them from what? It's a good question. She's got the same hairstyle as me. How rude. Ellen's already here, standing by the wall, looking around before joining the throng. Hey, you guys. Come on, you have to put your names on the form to make it official. My son up's over there. Eh? Virginia grabs us both and drags us over to her station. Sign it! Sign it! Sign away your soul. Alright already! Let go of my wrist! Sorry. You guys sign it. I have to go and grab some more people. Don't literally grab them. You will not do anything for your case. When did I get ten cute? She hurries away. Ellen sighs and picks up the pen. Let her sign up. Tell her she doesn't have to. I'll let her sign up. I'll wait for Ellen to write her name, then I sign beneath that. I'm going to look around and see what other clubs there are, okay? Yeah, I guess I should too. I wonder if magical universities care about what clubs you're in. Is there a magical honors if you, what if magical universities care about clubs you're in at magic school? Is there a magical honor society? Missed the U out. Whoa, hello. As Ellen and I move around the room, I see someone jump up onto the stage. It's Donald, Virginia's other brother. I'll stick with her. He pounds his fist on his chest a few times and takes a deep breath. <laughs> what? Brooms for old shoes, pouch rings, boots and buskins. What's a buskin? It's a surprisingly good voice, strong and clear, even if the words are nonsense. Will you buy any new broom? So then Jacob from Falcon Hall, I have got no idea who the hell all these people are, stands up behind him and, and <laughs> sings the song from the beginning as Donald continues. It's like a round from Frere Jacques, but a strange one. After they finish sealing about spools and sealing wax or whatever the boys, or whatever, the boys make grandiose bows and I applaud along with the other students who are paying attention. It's not my kind of music, but they were pretty good at seeing it. Yeah, that was incredibly strange. <laughs> Come this way to sign up for Corral. Choral? Corral? How do I pronounce that word? Corrale? They wave and jump down from the stage. Corrale sounds like fun. No, don't. We're not joining that. Eh? We're not joining the singing. I'm not interested by photo Ellen, Ellen anyway, to be polite. Hello, ladies. Here to sign up for... Wait, I know you. Wait, I know you. I'm Thane! I am Thane of White Run! You can't arrest me! How much rehearsals do you have to do to be in Corral? Your urchin's roommates. What are you doing here? She said you were joining her stupid sports thing. I can't do both. Well, what if we schedule things at the same time? You gotta pick what side you're on, mine or hers. That's rude. You tell him. But Ellen just laughs. It's okay. I know how you feel. I have a little sister too. You do? You never mentioned her. We're very different people. Jenny isn't interested in magic or books or sports. She just wants to be a ballerina and have everyone love her. I say being a ballerina is a sport. It's not like you can just stick on a tutu and be automatically good at it. You need to work hard for it and stuff. So I'd say it was a sport. Is she spoiled rotten? Does she get away with everything, even if she started it? Sounds like a little sister to me. Basically. Ha! See, little sisters are a menace. I believe so. I've never had one, but I guess they are. One time, Urchin melted a cherry ice pop all over my math workbook. And Mum and Dad wouldn't believe, wouldn't believe I didn't do it, as if I'd eat that junk. So they wouldn't spell it off, and I had to hear about, had to hear about it from them and my teacher at school, because she's a messy eater. That's not my younger brother. Jenny used to hate it if I'd lock my door to study in private, and she would stand outside and scream until Mama would make me let her in. Wow, what a brat. Yeah, you know how it is. 
Anyway, it's cool if you want to sign up for Corral. I'd like to try, but if it gets in the way of my schoolwork, I'll have to stop. Yeah, whatever. What about you, uh, whatever your name is? Me? No. There's no way I'm singing in public. No. I think I'll better go see how Virginia is doing. I gotta go do something. I hurry away. Is they studying? Gain one smart, gain two stress. Whoa. Deck of the stars. Oops. Huh? Because we've both been sitting here quietly working, I'd almost forgotten Ellen was in the room with me. It takes my brain a moment to catch up with what I just heard. What do you mean, oops? Well, it sort of worked. I think. I'm just not sure. Ooh, you've been doing magic. What sort of worked? I was using blue magic to try and move a penny, but I don't know where it's gone. It's gonna come out of your ear. Ear. I said ear. Stop laughing. I didn't say rear. I just did then, but stop laughing. It disappeared from the place that it was where it was, but it didn't show up when I was trying to put it. Can you look for it? I guess, but it's just a penny, right? It's not a big deal. It's probably not a big deal. You've made a giant penny. But what if it gets stuck halfway into the floor and someone steps on it and hurts her foot? Halfway it Can you do that? That sounds scary. I'm not sure. That's why I need to find it. That's why I'm sticking with red, red magic. So I look around on the floor and onto my desk and my bed. While Ellen looks under hers and Virginia's nothing. Ah, oh, there's three beds in there. It just looks like two. Where's the third one? Nothing. Oh! She picks up a coin laying on top of her pillow. There it is. Are you sure it's the same one? Well, there wasn't a penny on my pillow before. There was a chocolate mint, but I ate that already. As long as she's satisfied. <laughs> September 20th. Green magic. Success gain one magic, gain green stress. Green stress? After class, dorm room. Virginia is sticking a piece of paper to a wall with blue putty. Ah, blue tech, yeah. Hell yeah, love blue tech. It's awesome stuff. Oh, I've nearly got as much stress as I've got demerits. Oh dear. I need to do something about that next week. What's that? Members list. We did it. We have enough people for an official club. Da -da -da -da. Even if Liz still refuses to join because I said riding wasn't a real sport. Riding is a real sport. Dressage is not. It's mostly wolves and horses, but I kind of expected that. Ah, oh, Balthazar signed up too. Oh, it's because he like wants to play and not because he likes me. Well, you don't like toads? Horrible Donald put real toads in my bed when I was little. He was crushed I didn't scream when I saw them. I still kicked his butt for being mean to the poor toads, but I don't think they liked my bed. Do you guys always fight? The siblings, of course. Pretty much, he's been pulling stupid pranks on me since I was practically a baby. I thought all brothers did that. Not William, he's the best big brother ever. Lucky, indeed. Yeah, I guess I am. Morning, dorm room, what should I do today? Yay, $19. Mall or study. I've got quite a lot of stress, so let's go to the mall. What should I do at the mall today? Well, we're going to have to find out what I'm going to do at the mall today, uh, next episode. Because I think I've been recording this for over half an hour now and I don't want to make these too long. Um, it would be really great if you could leave a comment. Um, just uh, like to know how well I'm doing this. I think I'm probably reading a bit stuff a bit too fast. So if you could just let me know so I can just like slow down a little bit. Because I know I'm quite a fast reader and I seem to be reading this quite quickly out loud. So if you want me to slow down, let me know. If you think I'm doing alright, also let me know. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'm Paige of Maces. And I'm Professor Potsdam. I didn't get voiced at all today. It was rather depressing. Goodbye, Starbeams. TTFN.